Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This is Hearts of Iron 4 Unite the Anglosphere. Yes, and in today's episode, hopefully, we're going to try our very, very best to make sure that Imperialist Canada does not get uh, downgraded to a mere puppet. So I think as, uh, as the first matter, uh, of course, well, ideally we want to try and send uh, an attaché. I think that's how you say it, an attaché. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll do that in a little bit. But for now, what we're going to try and do is we're going to ba, 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 ba. We're going to start doing military parades in both of these places. We're also going to start doing a military parade in South Africa. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have the political power to do that at this very moment in time. We're not exactly making a tremendous amount of political power, but alas, what can you do? Uh, we're going to try and finish uh, this conflict in uh, in Iran. That's something that's been rumbling on for quite a while now, and it's something that I would very, very much like to see the back of. Allying the uh, New Zealand uprising, we know that eventually New Zealand will ally us automatically, uh, but they've at the moment joined the Axis, and therefore they're declared war against like everyone else, which is, which is fine. It's not a problem. Uh, once they finish their war, uh, we can we can definitely we can definitely take advantage of that and uh, and get in with them. I'm still not entirely sure how we're gonna uh, go about getting cent centralist Australia. I mean, I, I I have literally no idea. Unfortunately, we can't support we can't boost party popularity, and unfortunately, we well we could stage a coup. We could stage a democratic coup. You want to stage a democratic coup in the Northern Territory? If we could stage a democratic coup, get it retaken over by a democratic country, and then and then reignite an uprising, I this is a very very long finangled path to success. I'm not convinced it would even work, to be honest. I'm really not convinced that it would even work. Um, also, we are slowly progressing up in uh, in Siam. Slowly but surely, uh, I did not think that we would be uh, as successful as we have been. Excuse me, I wanted to create a front line. No, 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 not there. Not there, delete all of that. Front line, there. There we go, literally everyone into that entire province. Okay, uh, I think that we should theoretically managed to push up, get Bangkok, um, take control of the territory that we're interested in taking control of. That's about the area that we're interested in. Actually, no, I should probably redraw that just for the sake of, just for the sake of doing it. Uh, redraw that there. Perfect. So if we can surround Bangkok, then that would be absolutely spot on. You know what, Potato, just one more time. There. Perfect. Something like that. Maybe not that province, but whatever the case, you get the picture. You get the picture. Once we've got everyone into a position, we can execute. Division is still preparing. I, I don't really care. I'm pretty certain that we can steamroll these guys and therefore get them out of the way. Uh, yeah, I'm not super keen on uh, Canada increasing its autonomy. That's not great. We want to make sure that we want to make sure that we're moving towards annexation. Uh, we're kind of close to getting to getting British Malaya annexed. We just need to get a whole bunch more political power, which is going to take ages. Uh, South Africa is not is not in the process of, of changing, so we don't need to worry about that at all. Insufficient resources. How have we not got enough steel? How have we not got enough steel? Australia is a very, very good source of steel. What have we started making recently that's really putting up the price of steel? It's probably all these ships that we're supposedly making. Um, well, it's not, not perfect, let me tell you that, that we've got a severe lack of steel. Let me see if I can just do a, uh, military parade in British Malaya. Let's do a military parade in Imperialist South Africa. Sure. Yeah, not super thrilled at the, the tremendous lack of steel that we've got going on at the moment, but this is a, you know, we're in it for the long haul. We're not in it for, we're not in it for, uh, we're not in it for the short haul. We're in it for the long haul. Uh, what was that that we just finished up? I think it was a cruiser. I should probably go and check that out. We just finished up... Was it the carrier hull or the heavy ship hull? I don't actually know. What I can do is I can have a little check down here. 
1940 cruiser hull. I think we've got the, yeah, the 1944 battle cruiser. No light cruiser. No, we still got the 1940. What was it? I really wasn't paying attention. This is why I should pay attention. The heavy ship hull, the carrier hull, and the submarine hull. So the heavy ship, the carrier, and the submarine. Right, we got the submarine, got the carrier. So we need to redo the heavy battleship then. Right, fine. Uh, heavy ship hull. That's, I don't want to do the light cruiser. Heavy ship hull, yeah. Cool. Are you not in here? Is it in Battle Cruiser? I guess it must be this one. But this is the early one. It's the carrier hull. Super heavy. Super heavy battleship hull. Alright. I think that's the one. This whole ship thing is really confusing me. 1944 heavy ship hull. Yeah, so it is a battleship, but... It is a battleship, so I'm pretty sure it is this one. Yeah, no, oh wait, no, hold on, it's this one. Alright. Do an auto-configure on that, and then save that. And then that's the 1944 Heavy... The 1944 Heavy Ship Hull Mark 1. As opposed to the Super Heavy Battleship Hull. Fine. Great. Start making that. All right, that's going to put an even further, an even larger dent on our uh, steel production. But hey ho, we got a couple of decisions available. I do do I want to do any of this nonsense at the moment? Not really. I want to develop some oil fields, so let's do that. Not like we really need oil at this present moment, but it's always nice to have uh, to have that as an option. I want to finish up these two wars that I'm involved in. We've got a lot of manpower at the moment. It's growing by a decent uh, by a decent amount, which is lovely. And we're going to press on, which is wonderful. And also in Siam, we're, we're doing a great job. We're doing a great job in Siam. Is Siam at war with someone else as well? I think they're at war with... No, they're not at war with the French Commune. No, that's... that. What? How has the French Commune got territory over here? I guess because they're attacking the Axis... Over there, and I guess this was never Siam's state. All right, fair enough. I, I don't think that we really want a national focus at the moment, at this moment in time. I think that we're actually fine without it. The Burma Road. I mean, sure, maybe, but not super interested in that at present. Development in Canada requires Commonwealth ties. It is in a faction with Imperialist Canada, but I am in a faction with Imperialist Canada. Do they not classify as my faction, even if they're my ally? Create faction? Sure. Alright. This is going to be called the Unite... The Anglosphere Sphere Faction. Right. Not the Anglosphere. The Anglosphere. And sphere spelt uh, spelt properly. I think that's how you spell it. All right, great. Let's do that. The dawn of unite the Anglosphere. Quite right. All right, great. So they're now in our faction, and therefore they're still uh, they're still not a huge fan of me. I do need to send them an, an attaché uh, because that will mean I should theoretically have. Um, have the option to develop, uh, develop power, develop, develop power, develop relations, lower the issues between us, the, 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 the level of independence. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want them to, to become independents. Uh, are you in my faction at the moment? Oh, you're all in the faction at the moment anyway. Great. Okay. Well, that will allow us to do develop Canada and develop South Africa. Hold the Imperial Conference. Political power plus 120, 1945 Imperial Conference. Ooh. Alright. Imperial Federation. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. British Commonwealth Air Training. You know what? You know what? 
I'm interested. I'm interested in that. I'm interested in that. I'm very interested in that. Uh, I want to get India in a faction with me as well. Well, technically, I want to conquer India. I think that that's the... That's what we need to do, right? I mean, we're... Uh, we need to annex a couple of their states. I don't think there is any other way to go about conquering India except with uh, troops as opposed to decisions. But hey-ho. All right, we're winning in, um, in Siam, which is good. Or at least we're making progress, which is lovely. We've got a whole bunch of fighters in the area, which is which is just the greatest. Uh, we're almost done in Iran. We are so, so, so close. We have no divisions in basic training. I don't care about that. Unassigned divisions. I really don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Uh, I know there's an available war goal in Burma. How long is that war goal available for? Is Burma part of the... I did not realize that... Is Burma part of the... Uh, the Reclaim the Jewel in the British Crown? Holy cow. I did not actually realize, but there you go. All right. I thought it was only... I thought it was only India and, uh, and Bangladesh and Pakistan. But I'm very, very glad that that's not the case. Okay. Uh, where is there a high level of occupation? All right. That's a bit of a bummer. If we can finish up this war relatively quickly... Well... <laughs> What can I say? What can I say? Okay, take all states. That's that's what I'm talking about. Uh, then end the turn. Done. Beautiful. All right. Now resistance should uh, should decrease. Yep. There we go. Perfect. That's that's it. That's it. That's resistance. Apparently, once you fully uh, annex a country, it's it's it's, 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 it's fixed. It's just fixed. Uh, okay, so you need to have a front line. The front line needs to be... I mean, it's not going to be Afghanistan. It's going to be Pakistan, right? Because I don't believe we've got a claim on Afghanistan at the moment. But we do have a claim against Pakistan, which we can uh, easily exploit uh, at this moment in time. Manpower is actually in a pretty darn decent position at the moment, which is lovely. All right, improve rocket engines or jet engines. I mean, I want jet engines, right? I feel like jet engines is a, is a no-brainer. Imperialist Canada might raise its autonomy. I really do not want that to happen. I really should probably try and save uh, save some, some political power so that I can send an attache. Oh, beautiful. All right, things are going great in Siam as well, which is lovely. This area might all technically be classified as British Malaya. If it does, or if it is classified as that, I, I, I don't really care, to be honest. Um, I'm needing a lot more political power to do all of the stuff that I'm currently trying to do. I wish we got more political power being non-aligned or unaligned or whatever. That would be really, really nice. Churchill Black Prince, fine. I don't really care about building any tanks at this moment in time. So I'm just going to continue up to the Centurion. Just get that done and dusted. Man, we need we need a lot more steel. We need a lot more steel than what we've currently got coming in. I... I I mean, should we go on a little hunt of uh, of steel? Where would be a good place to attack if we wanted to get a lot of steel? Oh, India. Well, it's funny you should mention that video game because I'm very, very interested. Very, very interested indeed. Uh, Turkey for for uh, for chromium. And Germany, Germany actually for steel. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Uh, Sweden. Sweden's also not bad in steel. You know what? Maybe I'll go for Sweden. Maybe we'll just take over Sweden for the steel. Honestly, I've, I've had worse ideas, I feel. Integrated puppet to puppet. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That is not good at all. They, I don't want them to become a colony. I do not want them to become a colony. I want to... Okay, I want to save up. I need to make sure that I... Uh, I need to make sure that I influence them. If I give them control of a state, will that make a difference? Yeah, we need to improve relations. That's a that's an absolute must, right? If I start their lend lease, does that make them... Does that make them like me more? Send them 3,000 units of fuel. Right. 
Not sure that they're gonna... Not sure that that's gonna make them like me more, but that's okay. We'll, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Okay, I think that we probably just need to keep on doing... I think that we just pretty much need to keep on making sure that we continually do military marches. And also we need to make sure that we get the, uh, the attaches. As soon as possible, yeah. Alright, so apparently Siam is still a wee bit away from capitulating. It must be very, very close. It's 84% towards capitulation. Controls 32% of victory points, and it will capitulate when it is 20% or less. I mean, I, I, I did kind of expect it to capitulate. Holy cow. Holy cow. The fascists have really, really done a number on the world. They really have. Alright, the offensive line needs to just get up to, like, here. That's, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Execute up that way, and then we'll be sorted. We've almost got Siam, and I'd like to go into Burma. I'd like to go into Pakistan. We're very, very close to doing both, fulfilling both of those objectives. Uh, but we need 100 political power, and at the moment, we're just not getting any. Our stability is actually very, very low, and we could really do with some more stability. Political power gain is already plus 15%. Stability plus 5%. I mean, you're we're already trying... Is there anyone else that will actually give us uh, stability? I don't think so. Political power gain plus 5%? No, that's not it, unfortunately. No, I, I don't think... Uh, political power gain plus 15%? You know what? You might not actually be the worst idea in the world at a time like this. You might not be. You might not be the worst idea in the world. All right. Well, this is this is a foregone conclusion that we're going to be successful. I'm pretty happy about that. That's pretty darn good. Uh, I think that there's a little bit of confusion about where we should actually be attacking, and what is actually a front line. I think it's going to take a little bit of a reorganization here. There we go. And then, yep, we want to execute on the attack order anyway. So just keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep on charging in. And as long as we take that little settlement over there, then we are going to be golden for victory points, which is great. Uh, still no real idea about what we do with Australia. That's a destroyer hull. I should probably try and upgrade that, even though we're not really doing very much. Uh, heavy ship, no heavy cruiser. No, 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 no. Destroyer, great. Perfect. Mark one. Let's get that in there. Alright, great. Only 290 steel that we're missing at the moment, so I should probably start to select the boats that I'm building slightly more carefully. But at the end of the day, I'm not really that bothered. What will be, will be. Uh, we're about halfway to nukes, I think. Yep, roundabout, roundabout's halfway, which is quite nice. Very, very nice indeed, in fact. We're two provinces away from taking control of Siam, which is not something that I really anticipated would happen. Uh, I think I need to ally up with the communists, honestly, in order to in order to get this done. I'm going to leave uh, my national focus unset for a little for a little time. Right, improving relations with Pakistan. Also, uh, imperialist Canada. How are you doing relations wise? You like me now? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's really really good. Um, I still do want to. I still want to. I still want to do, I still want to do this. I still want to get you in a, an attache as soon as possible. However, does it now mean that you're going to head towards... No, you're still, you're still heading towards breaking up with me. Well, that's not, I not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Yeah, I want to, I want to get you to, I want to get you back on board. Right, I'll try my very best to get you back on board. We love you, Canada. You're an integral part of the team. Alright, Sam, how on earth? How on earth are you still in this war? Honestly. It controls 21% of victory points? Really? I, I do kind of dislike how it's... I mean, it's not arbitrary. There's, you know, clearly some thought went into the 20%... Uh, into the 20% number. But... It's kind of... It feels arbitrary. It feels pretty much pointless. 
Grand Assault, lovely. I mean, we're gonna do it. We just need a couple more states and then we're pretty much there. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue up. Mechanized offensive, infantry offensive. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, I want to spend 100 points. That's that's a pretty darn good deal to me. Air experience is also at max. We should probably probably use that to improve some of our aircraft. But for now, we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it be. Also, I'm really, really, really looking for the you know for the Germans to finish up their offensive. The sooner that they finish that, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Also, oh, there we go, perfect. Uh, so, we're just going to take all the states, and then end the turn. Done. It's not much of a peace conference, it's just a, you know, just a, seize the territory. Okay. Burma, this is going to be a long front line. A very, very long front line indeed. But there's no there's no real rush in declaring war on Burma. We're going to do it very, very soon because we want to. How does Portugal have a state over there? Alright, don't understand, but whatever. Um, we're ready to navally invade here. Yet we're ready to navally invade those two locations, which is lovely. I think that we're probably going to do that in the next episode. Uh, well, maybe not the next episode, but definitely soon. Uh, we need to declare war on Pakistan. I'm going to do that... Now, there we go. Called everyone into war in Pakistan. Perfect. I will now just give you an offensive line. Uh, just up to the top of Pakistan. That's, that's perfect, really. There we go. And everyone execute. Okay, so... Canada, are you still... You're still heading for a colony? I really don't like that. I'm not happy with you, Canada. We love you, but we don't love it when you... When you don't... When you don't love us. That's the real sadness. Uh, where's the nearest Air Force base? Tehran? Probably. Yeah, I don't think that we're going to be able to... I don't think we're going to be able to do anything about this. Right. Um, we have 150 things of fuel there. Is that it? Okay, fine. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have range to actually do anything about that. All right, well, um, just, you know, keep up the, keep fighting the good fight in the air above Iran. I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Uh, superior enemy. That's it's not ideal, but hey-ho. Ah, we can request expedition raids. That, that would be kind of cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be negative from, uh, from everyone, because at the moment we called everyone into the war, which may or may not have hastened Canada's uh, hatred of me. South Africa's not doing anything at the moment. But hey-ho country. I mean, what is that modifier? Is it because it's literally a country? Do they have a claim? I mean, they have a claim on, um, whoa, 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 They do have a claim on, oh no, they don't actually. Canada doesn't, doesn't actually have a claim. Yeah, they don't have a claim on any of the territory that I have. How very, very interesting. Also, my mouse has, uh, has somehow gone very, very... Things have, things have gotten messy. Uh, well, anyway, ladies and gents, I think this is a pretty darn good place to wrap the episode up. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. This has been Hearts of Iron 4, Unite the Anglosphere. I'll see you next time. Bye.